Today we're talking about decorating from thrift stores. Hi, I'm Linda with Life on Summer Hill and welcome to my home. Today I'm taking you along on a thrifting antiquing trip. We're going to go around the store and I'm going to point out some great things that you can use to decorate your home. And then we're going to come back with one item and I'm going to show you how to decorate it. Decorate with it. So let's get started. Here's one of my favorite shops in my small hometown. This antique store has just about everything you will need to decorate your home. Let's start with books. Finding old books is a great staple to have when you're decorating your home. Next, look for figurines to add to decorating ensembles. I like to particularly look for animals when I'm looking for figurines. Um, and I like for, to look for different sizes, small, medium, and large. Now look for baskets when you're shopping at thrift stores and antique stores. This is a great way to add texture to your home decor and they're very useful because you can hide things that aren't as pretty. Two more items to look for when you're thrifting and antiquing are crates and dough balls. I particularly love dough balls and I use them a lot in my decoration and tablescapes. One area that I am selective in when shopping in thrift stores is anything that has fabric on it. If I cannot bleach or sterilize it, then I won't get it. However, fabrics and linens are other great pieces to decorate with. Clocks are another easy item to shop for when thrifting and antiquing, and they make wonderful decorations. Now let's talk about vintage art. If you really want to be unique in your home decor, then look for old vintage artwork at thrift stores and antique stores. There are so many options when you go shopping. So keep your eyes out, look high and low, and look on walls, because that's generally where you'll find them. Next, look for mirrors when shopping at antique and thrift stores. Decorating with mirrors is easy. Look for large and small sizes to go on the wall. You can use them as trays. Um, sometimes you can even prop them up as a part of a decoration on a bookcase. Now let's talk about old windows. Windows are a hit or miss thrift store find. If you're looking for an old window to decorate with or to use for a DIY project, look around at salvage yards where people drop off construction material. Decorating with old windows is so much fun. Next are crocs and pots. These make great decorations. It seems like thrifting crocs is a hit or miss also. Sometimes I find them here and there and then I will go for months without seeing one. Next, let's talk about furniture. Look for end tables, old benches, hutches, china cabinets, chairs, the list goes on. I like to stick with hard case pieces like bookcases and steer away from upholstered pieces. Now consider shopping for dishes to add to your home decor. Dishes are easy to find when secondhand shopping and make beautiful decorations. Also, bottles and jars are really fun to decorate with. So when you go vintage shopping, keep your eyes out for different kinds of bottles and jars. probably already know shopping in thrift stores and antique stores for holiday decorations is a must. I find all kinds of pretty things I can use when decorating at Christmas and other holidays. So this barely touches the surface on thrift store and antique store finds, um, but I hope it gives you a little bit of help 
But before we leave the store and move on to my house where I'm going to show you how to decorate with one item that I purchased off this list, um, I want to take you upstairs and show you this old wedding chest or hope chest. I mean, look at how amazing this is. It comes from the 1700s, um, believed to come over from Normandy, France. But the thing I love the most about it is the artwork. Look how detailed and beautiful the artwork is. Can you just imagine who used it? Can you imagine what precious items were placed in it as memorabilia or the precious items that were placed in it to travel here? What a beautiful piece. Okay, so that concludes our antiquing shopping trip in my small hometown and I purchased this basket so I'm going to head home and I'll show you how to decorate with it. Baskets are a great way to decorate. They add texture and, um, and character. They're great for storage. They're also pretty so you can just decorate with them. So I've added some baskets on the top of my bookcases. And the great thing about this is I can actually store things inside that I don't want people to see, especially if they're things that I use pretty frequently. So consider adding baskets to the top of your bookcases, add them in your cabinets, add them on your bookcases, on the floor by the mantel. There's so many different ways you can decorate with baskets. One way you can decorate with old windows is by placing it on your mantle like I have here. Um, I propped the window on my mantle and then I layered it with an old piece of art. Um, other ways you can decorate with old windows is you can hang them on the wall. You can even layer them on a wall. So another thing I wanted to show you um, that we looked at in the thrift store and I want to show you a way you can decorate with it is old crocs. So up here on my mantle I have an old croc and I paired it with an old window and an old piece of art but right next to the croc is a brand new rabbit that I found while traveling to Atlanta recently. So I love to mix old things that um, that aren't perfect with newer things. I feel like it gives it so much charm and character. So on my whole mantle, all the old things are this basket up here, which I have a, a video that I'll link in the description that talks about how to clean baskets, old baskets, so I will link that in the description so you can go check it out. But I have an old basket, some old books that elevate a new um, artificial herb plant here. A new bunny, an old crock, an old piece of art, an old mirror, and then over here is a brand new basket. So I hung this basket kind of like you hang a stocking on your fireplace. And this gives another element over here. And then on the floor, I have another old crock. So basically, um, this will give you an idea of different ways you can decorate with vintage and antique finds on your mantel. So now let's go over and I'll show you a few ideas on how to decorate your bookcases with vintage and antique finds. Okay, so as you remember earlier, I was showing you how to decorate with baskets on top of your bookcase. Well, here's another example of decorating with a basket in your bookcase. Um, and this basket I found at Goodwill. I brought it home, I cleaned it, and then I painted it. And I um, have a blog post on how to paint baskets. So I will also place that link in the description below. So baskets, more old books on this uh, bookcase. Um, here's an old plate piece, some old candles. I have uh, an old bookend down here. And then down at the very bottom is a piece of wood that came off of a courthouse somewhere up in Tennessee, I believe. So 
Anyways, you basically have so many options of things you can use to decorate with on bookcases. Now, one other thing I wanted to show you, and you may notice it down here in the front of this video, is my dough bowl. So, I have my dough bowl here, and this is actually a new dough bowl. It's not old, um, but I wanted to show it to you because it's a great centerpiece for a table. You can put it on a, on a sofa table. And then you can change out the decorations on it seasonally. So right now I have lavender in here as a decoration for the summertime. But then I'll change that out and put pumpkins in it in the fall. And then I'll do some Christmas in it uh, when it gets to be that time of year. And this dough bowl doesn't have to stay right here. I like to move it around into different places in my home. So what do you think? Are you ready to go vintage shopping and then bring them home and decorate your home with them? It's so much fun. I hope you get, you've been inspired and I hope this encourages you to get out and look for some beautiful old pieces to mix with your beautiful new items in your home. So if you're new here, I would love for you to subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss out. Every week I try to bring you home decor ideas and teach you how to decorate your home. I also love to bring you DIY projects and entertaining decorating. Again, I am so thankful you came to join me here at Life on Summer Hill. I hope you have a wonderful day and we'll see you soon.